Welcome to Power Talk. My name is Indira Badal, the Public Relations Coordinator, wishing everyone, especially you, our valued customers, pleasant morning on behalf of the entire GPL team. On the console is Tremaine Clark, and it is always exciting for me to share with you the latest information relating to our company's development. Last week, we held our public presentation on the company's operational and financial performance for the period 2012 to June 2013. During the presentation, our various divisional directors highlighted the progress and challenges of their respective departments in achieving the holistic goal of the company, which is to provide quality service to all customers. It was interesting to know the rapid expansion of our customer base, as explained by Divisional Director Renford Homer, who is responsible for customer service and information technology. I started showing comparative figures from 2010, but I can tell you this, back in 2001 when I joined this company, I think we were just short of 120,000 customers. And we're now looking at 2010, where we were at 151,000, and 2011, 161,000, uh, 2012, 166,000. So there's been considerable growth um, over time. And that ties back to some extent to the challenges that the technical people have in trying to get a reliable supply of power to you. As we move, for as we move forward, we could also see um, at the end of, I mentioned that, sorry, a second ago, at the end of 2012, at 166,000, and we've been moving upwards. At the end of March of 2013, 168,000, and recently, at the end of June, um, 173,000. But as the company's customer base expands, much effort is made as GPL forges ahead with its massive infrastructure development work and its strategic planning, as explained by GPL's CEO, Bharat Dindial. We do a five-year development and expansion program and in that program we actually do a five-year forecast and so in, in doing that forecast we also do a demand forecast with the energy forecast and looking at the demand forecast we project investments in generation. Unfortunately not every year that you project to add additional capacity that you will get the financing and in fact it is known now that we need to add 10% additional capacity every year. So with 100 megawatts, we need to add a 10 megawatts, and next year we need to add 11 megawatts, and the next year probably 12 megawatts, and, and to keep a pace with growing demand. It is known that there is a high correlation between growth in the country and demand for electricity. Over the 10-year period on the local management, GPL has significantly boosted generation capacity to over 148 megawatts, with available capacity of 129 megawatts serving a 103 megawatt during peak period nationwide to over 173,000 customers for residential and commercial purposes. However, investment is not only needed in generation to keep pace with rapid growing demand, but in upgrading networks, reducing commercial losses and improving customer service. The Inter-American Development Bank has already made 11 million US dollars since 2006 for loss reduction and is currently designing a new facility. GPL needs now 60 million US dollars to fix all issues contributing to losses. Will they catch up now? But when that 26 megawatt plant is commissioned next year early, by the second quarter, early in the second quarter, and these uh, facilities that the Chinese are constructed now comes online later this year, we will have an excellent foundation on which now to move the company forward and fronts we don't have the resources to do now. So after these things are done, our major focus has to be loss reduction. 
So on that note, we wish to remind our customers that our disconnection campaign has commenced. So please remember to pay your bill and you can do so now from the comfort of your home or office using Tally Banking, GTNT's mobile money or any GPO's office. Sure pay or Western Union outlet to avoid a rush at our commercial offices. Remember, reconnection of your service costs $3,200, which is equivalent to 66 kilowatts of electricity calculated at the residential rate of 48 dollars Four two dollars for the first seven to five kilowatts electricity consumed. This is all the time we have. So, on behalf of the entire JPL team, I wish to thank you for joining me this week, and thank you to Tremaine Clark. Remember to join us again next week, the same time, right here on the Voice of Ghana for yet another Power Talk, a presentation of the Ghana Power and Light.